Ooh, welcome back to the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show, episode 7, here on MLB 15 The Show. If you missed last episode, Paddy made his MLB debut. He came in, and he went over 4 in his debut, and now we're here against the Dodgers as he basically gets on base on a fielder's choice, and then he decides to go and swipe second base. That's what he does. He doesn't get any hits, but he steals second. So Paddy does still not have a major league hit. He just has a stolen base on a fielder's choice with a Brett Anderson and the Dodgers. So now, Paddy's 0 for 2 against the Dodgers the next game. Top of the 6, down 9 to 2, and the one and only Clayton Kershaw is on the mound. The 2 2, here it comes, and Paddy takes it into right field. Patrick O'Shea, first career major league hit, comes against Clayton Kershaw of all pitchers, and then he decides to swipe second off Kershaw. Patty O'Shea goes one for four. You'll be seeing a lot of that in this video because Patty did get off to quite a bit of a struggle in the majors, just like any player. I mean, you, you call players up too fast, you don't give him enough time in the minor leagues, he's going to struggle a bit. So top of the first against the Giants at AT&T, and Patty goes deep right field into triples alley no into the glove of the center fielder i believe they had angel pagan in center i don't see why they wouldn't so patty does not get a base it's a top of the sixth now giants up two to one in the blue alternates the oo here it comes and patty takes this one opposite way because he swings way too late and i'll pop that one up into the left fielder's glove and once again Patty is making solid contact, but he just can't find any gaps. He can't find any grass. He can't just get the ball down on the ground. He keeps hitting it to people. So top of the first now, as Patty still hits cleanup for this team, considering he is the only person on this team who has over 60 power. That's, uh, that's pretty sad, if you ask me. And then, Patty takes it off the wall, and this time he does get a triple and scores two runs. Patrick O'Shea. Two RBI triple, and then later on, the next batter pops one up into left field. Patty tags up and uses those slick feet of his to slide into home plate, tag up, and score a run. And that would be the only thing Patty does the entire day. They win 7 2 as he goes 1 for 5 with a triple, two RBIs, and a run scored. So now, hitting 0 91 with two RBIs, 130 OBP. Top of the first. Against the Giants, two outs, runner on second, and Patty takes this one deep off the wall in center field. And Patty's got himself a stand up double, and he scores the run. So, that top of the third, Braves up three to one. Here comes the pitch, and Patty takes this one in a right field, but Gregor Polanco with the sweet, sweet diving play robs Patty of a hit. And they would go into extra innings, but the Braves do come out on top. But Patty goes 1 for 7 on the day. Like I said, struggling. That will be up against the D-backs in Arizona, wearing the sweet Hank Aaron throwbacks. Top of the 8th, 1-1 one, one tie ball game. Facing the left-hander, D-backs wearing their sweet purple throwbacks. And Patty takes one up the middle for a base hit. Moves the runner over to 2nd. And Patty, once again, goes 1 for on the day. 1 for 4. D-backs beat the Braves 5-2-1 as Shea Simmons picks up the loss and Oliver Perez picks up the win, who is what who is who Patty got his hit off of. So now we're back here in Atlanta, bottom half of the first against the Pittsburgh Pirates, the Buckos. And Patty goes deep right field. That's back. Off the wall. One run will score as Patty heads into third base. Standing up, he's got himself an RBI triple. And there we go. A one for once again. Braves win four nothing. Patty goes one for four with a triple and an RBI. Like I said, you'll be seeing a lot of that in this video because, like I said, he struggled to start off his career. And I understand people don't really like some people don't like seeing people struggle in their careers, but it's it's the ups and downs of baseball, which makes baseball wonderful. It's a grind. There's ups and downs. Everyone has them. And right now, Patty is going through a down, but. He started to pick things up here. As you can see, he gets a double and a run scores. So that is a double with an RBI, and he goes one for six. But the Pirates do come out on top 11 to four. Shea Simmons picks up yet another loss. 
So now we'll pick things up against the San Diego Padres at home, both wearing throwbacks, those sweet, sweet throwbacks, the Hank Aaron types, and they've got the brown and dark yellow throwbacks. Looking like the 70s and 80s all over again. I believe it's 70s. Pretty sure it's the 70s, as Patty rips one in the right field. The right fielder can't come up with it on the dive, and Patty's got himself a base hit on an eight pitch at bats. So now, Patty's on first base. What does Patty do when he's on first base? You guessed it. Patty swipes second base. Steals once again. If Patty gets on base, he's going to steal. If he gets a single, he's going to steal. You just can't stop him unless you got, like, Yadier Molina behind the plate. And I haven't played the Cardinals yet, so I'm sure I'm going to test Yadier Molina. And now, bottom of the eighth. Four to one. Padres in the lead. And Patty rips one in a right field. He's got a two-hit ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies! Impressing the ladies with a two-hit ball game. As Patty picks up a single, he goes two for four on the day. He hit 500 on the day! Patty O'Shea! Look at the Irish! And they win five to two. So now, on the road, on the road again, versus the New York Mets. Top of the first, runner on first. Two outs, here comes the 2-2, and Patty takes it into left center. That'll roll to the wall. The runner from first will round second, head into third. Round third, head home as Patty holds up at second. And he gets himself an RBI as he slides in and avoids the tag. He gets himself a double and an RBI. And now he's back up again. Top of the fifth. One for two on the day so far. The double and an RBI. It's a 4-3 Braves lead. Two outs. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. As Patty rips this one into right field for a little base hit. And he's got himself a single. So what does Patty do when he has himself a single? Well, I'm pretty sure you all know what Patty does when he gets himself a single. He doesn't do anything. Because he didn't steal anything that time. <laughs> I tricked you there. So he went two for five that day with a double and an RBI. And the Mets do come out on top five, two, four. And now we're on the road, on the road again. Against the Boston Red Sox at Fenway in Boston. Park your car on Harvard Yard. As Patty takes a pitch off the inside of, it looks like the inside of his thigh. So now he's on first, and this time he does proceed to steal second. You can't throw him out as he swipes second at Fenway. So now he's on second, one out. Guy rips one into center field. It'll land for a base hit, and you are not throwing out Patty at the plate. He'll score with ease. And the Braves put one on the board with Patty. And now, that was their only run of the ballgame still. So top of the fourth, 3-1 to one Boston lead. And it's an 0-2 count here with no outs. The pitch. And Patty with a base hit in the right field. He gets himself on base, and he's got a single. You guys know what he does when he has a single. On first base, he takes off. You are not throwing this man out. He avoids the tag. Great jump, swipe second base. His second of the ball game. So now, top half of the sixth. One for one on the day because, once again, that hit by pitch is not a cat and a bat. They're down six to one. Runners on first and second. The 0-2 is ripped into right field. Patty has himself a two-hit ball game. As one run comes... Oh, wait. Run run does not come around the score. The bases are loaded. So now Patty finds himself on third base. It's down 6-2 to two as Melvin Upton Jr. goes opposite way. One run scores. Two run will score. Three runs will score as Melvin Upton Jr. picks himself up a triple. And it's a one run ball game for this Braves team. But they cannot come out on top as they eventually do tie the ball game up. But they end up losing the game 8-6 to six as Donnie Veal gets the loss. And Patty O'Shea has improved his average up to 162 from the 0 0.091 it was in the beginning of this video. So if you ask me, he's making progress. He's starting to hit a lot better. And for episode 8 of the Patrick O'Shea Road to the Show, he's going to pick things up a bit more. Now with that being said, that'll wrap things up here for this episode. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. And the men who made her stay for the orange, white, and green. And the boys who fought in Dublin town in 1916. Well, some of them came from Kerry, and some from the county Clare. Dublin were clothed Donegal, and some from all Kildare. Some from all and across the sea, from Boston and New York. And the boys who paid the black and tan, and the boys from the county car.